Well, it certainly looks like Novatech FX are very soon to collapse. The Ponzi scheme is starting to unravel. There have been several uh, warnings by financial institutions around the world. And the last one that's just come out in the last few days is very concerning or should be very concerning for anyone in Novatech. A lot of people in America are in Novatech due to the charismatic leaders and creators of Novatech, Cynthia and Eddie Petion. Uh, let's go through them one by one. There'll be links in the description as well. So the first warning, official warning, that Novatech is uh, acting illegally and breaking uh, regulations in the securities market, illegal, signs of an illegal professional participant. This is from the Bank of Russia, uh, a Central Bank of Russia, and obviously a lot of Americans probably wouldn't treat that too seriously at the moment. However, the Central Bank of Russia um, do issue warnings. The warnings they've issued in the past for Ponzi schemes have all turned out to be correct. And so there is this warning, like I said, link in the description, that's the Central Bank of Russia. Then on the 11th of October 2022, British Columbia Securities Commission uh, notified that they are also extremely concerned. Novatech claims to be located in Florida and claims to be offering trading services by an experienced team of traders. We're aware that Novatech has accepted funds from British Columbia residents. Novatech is not registered to trade in or advise on securities or derivatives in British Columbia. And the standard response from people who are in the Novatech Ponzi cult would say, well, these are not securities. This is trading. Forex is not securities. Um, yeah, there's the Howey test, which basically confirms, yes, it is securities. You're putting money in with the expectation of receiving higher returns back. And that is the nature of a security. So British Columbia Securities Commission uh, are basically saying, look, they're operating illegally in British Columbia because they're not registered. There's no verification of what they're actually doing. And that's simply because they're running a Ponzi scheme uh, where earlier investors are receiving money from later investors and all Ponzi schemes do collapse. It's a mathematical guarantee uh, and it looks like we're getting closer to that now uh, because there'll be a whole bunch of Novatech investors who'll be wanting to withdraw. There'll probably be all sorts of withdrawal issues now for people because there is less money to withdraw than there is uh, put in because Novatech have been saying that they've been creating such magnificent gains for people. Uh, but it's all just mathematical money. Now, the latest one, and this, like I said, should be the most concerning, is the Californian uh, warning, Novatech Limited, case number. And this was from the 22nd of November, 2022. And the defendant's response to Novatech Limited, aka Novatech Limited, Novatech FX, Novatech Advisors, NovatechFX.com, NovaPay, Nova Trading. Petian Cynthia and Petian Eddie. Now I've warned people in previous videos that Cynthia and Eddie Petian, they're both previously bankrupts. Um, they have been willing to uh, be called as the president and vice president of AWS Mining, which was also a Ponzi scheme and collapsed. Um, and they were being very deceptive about that and they never corrected anyone they made out like it was their business. It clearly wasn't, AWS Mining wasn't their business. Um, but my point about making that on a previous video was that would you trust these people with your money? They've been declared bankrupt. And yes, some bankrupts can come back and become successful business people. But at the end of the day, if you're gonna put money with a business, would you choose a business where people have been successful and continue to be successful? Or would you choose a business where the people running it have previously been declared bankrupt and clearly didn't know how to look after their finances at that particular time? Would you trust them with your money? I would think not. So there's plenty of red flags and warning signs. Let's have a closer look at this decease and refrain order from the Californian uh, Department for Financial Protection and Innovation. And again, you can get the links in the description. It's all in the public domain. Um, what is interesting here is let's just go down through here. Let's just pick up what it says here. Beginning at least as early as 2022, Novatech offered and sold securities in the form of investment contracts in California through general solicitations on its website. Novatech referred to these investment contracts as packages. 
Uh, and so there's a lot of uh, background information here as to what they've been doing wrong, why they've been doing wrong, and this is a cease, desist and refrain order. Um, uh, yeah, there's there's lots of information. Here. Basically, they're running an HYIP, High Yield Investment Program, which is another name for a Ponzi scheme. Uh, the hallmark of a high yield investment program scam is the promise of high returns on an annual, even monthly, weekly, or daily basis, uh, with little or no risk to the investor. Another key element of most HYPs is a referral program in which the HYP offers referral commissions or bonuses to investors to recruit new investors. This usually leads to investors sharing information about the HYP with their friends and family and promoting HYPs on social media and so on. So um, it really does look like this is the noose tightening on Novatech now. Uh, like I said, I suspect there'll be a, a massive rush for existing investors to withdraw money. I expect Cynthia and Eddie uh, Petion to come up with all sorts of amazing stories as to why people shouldn't withdraw their money. They'll probably have some uh, stories saying their their website is receiving unprecedented demand from new signups and therefore they're struggling to process those and they'll probably pause the payments because they'll be desperate to try and get as much money out uh, now that they know that the regulators in America are really starting to look very close at them. I hope you found this video useful. Hopefully it's gonna help you uh, preserve your money, educate you a little bit as to how to spot a Ponzi scheme. Do subscribe to my channel if you want legitimate ways to make money and also more information on how to spot Ponzi schemes and preserve your hard-earned money in the first place. Give me a thumbs up, do feel free to share and I'll see you on the next video.